Brian can describe the double play in the first inning. Yeah, um, just saw the ball off the bat. Uh, the guy at first actually got a really good jump on that ball, so uh, it was it was actually a really close play at second, I believe. And uh, you know, I just I was there in case Bernal could get to that ball, and he was able to you know slide and make the glove flip. And I just you know my job is to get over first any way I could, and uh, you know I flipped it kind of uh, almost towards uh, my my arm side, so I just bare hand and happened to get it over to Fisher in time. Yeah, um, I think it was first pitch, um, pretty sure. And, um, you know, Brian was joking with me. He's like, yeah, he was all worried about me at first base. <laughs> and um, and so he threw you a good pitch, and then I just kind of saw it and put a good swing on it and, you know, saw it at first, and then I really saw it take off and knew it was going to get out. Was it a fastball on the middle or what was it? Yeah, just fastball over the plate. Yeah. You got seven home runs now, and I think last year – uh, Tyler and Brian led the team with four each, so you, you've almost got twice what they had all last season. Just what, and you've got a lot of home runs in the last couple of weeks. What, what, what's going on with the power search? I don't know. I mean, uh, just kind of staying in my legs and really trying to drive the ball and just kind of getting good pitches to to swing at and putting a good swing on them and just getting the you know hitting the bottom half of the ball and it's getting out. Dave was talking about you. You're, you're a lot of, you have a lot of confidence now. How confident are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I feel good, and um, you know, obviously, I still have you know bad at bats here and there, but you know, overall, I, I every time up at the plate, I feel good, and you know, I feel confident about myself, and I think it's taken me a long way. Brian, how do you feel? Blake Batson up behind you right now. You know, it's it's definitely a, a boost for me. You know, having uh, somebody like Blake Batson that's just swinging a hot bat, and then you got you know Eric Fisher hitting behind him, so you know. I guess you could say I really feel protected, and uh, you know, Baxendale has just been just been seeing the ball just unbelievable, and uh, you know, it's great to see him, you know, healthy. Just seeing him healthy, just seeing what he can do, it's it's really incredible. And uh, having guys like him and Fisher hitting behind me, and then having guys like Serrano and Spoon getting on ahead, it's you know, it's really starting to come together for us. We've seen Blake play a lot the last seven games. Did you guys see that in practice, maybe to indicate that he was about to have a I think you, we've always seen that the pen, potential has been there, you know, and I think that's what we heard, uh, you know, whenever he was coming to college, you know, uh, we have another Baxendale here. And, uh, you know, we've always seen him, you know, hitting the ball, and we knew he has power. You know, he's a big guy, strong guy. So, you know, we always thought the potential was there, and he's just been able to put it together and have confidence at the plate. Talk about your home, man. Do you think it was getting out of it? <laughs> no, I was, I was worried it was going to end up going foul, but, uh, you know, I had a uh, couple of guys on, two outs. I was just looking for something up in the zone I could handle, and uh, the guy hung a slider, and, you know, I was able to put a decent swing on it, and, you know, the wind almost almost pushed it foul, but it, it snuck in there, and, uh, you know, and I was able to get a few RBIs out of it. Brad, what, what, what do you think about Eric's and some of the home runs a pretty short period of time? No, that's unbelievable. You know, um, anytime you see a, a guy that's just at the plate, and just calm, relaxed, and just... You know the ball just it looks huge to him you can tell you know it just looks like a beach ball coming in and uh you know it, it's nice having having a guy on the on the team that you know at any time he can hit one out of any park at any time and that's that's what we have with eric and uh you know he's he, he can drive the ball to both sides of the field and he's hitting off speed and fastball so uh you know i think it's definitely a challenge for other teams that they're gonna have to try and figure out how to get him out because not a lot of people are doing it right now Um, you know, honestly, not a whole lot. You know, I think uh, our guys are just, you know, getting in the rhythm of the, of the season and just uh, seeing a lot more pitches now. And, you know, it's it's warmer out. Wind starts blowing. Um, yeah, really just not playing as many games at home. And as crazy as it sounds, are not much of a hitter's ballpark here at Bomb. But uh, I'd just say, you know, it's just warmer weather. Guys seeing more pitches, more confident and comfortable at the plate probably. But well, Auburn, just kind of what do you remember about him in the past? Uh, you know they they have a talented squad, and uh, you know I was I was recruited by Sonny Galloway, their head coach. So uh, you know he definitely knows knows what he's doing over there. And uh, you know they they have some some older guys that are coming back. Uh, definitely not a team you want to overlook. Um, you know in the SEC it's it's always so close. Uh, you know you try and overlook somebody, and you know next thing you know if you're a few games back. You know even further than what you were. So. 
uh, definitely not going to overlook them. You know, they're they're a good SEC squad, so uh, we're going to have to bring our best on Friday. For, for both of you guys, I think you guys had 13 heads each the last two games. I know you're not playing, you know, Bandier, South Carolina, but to, to just talk about. I think everybody in the start lineup got on base today. Just just talk about how, how big these last couple of games have been for everybody getting involved and really putting the offense together. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been big. I mean, anytime you can just string a bunch of hits together, you're going to get runs and runs. Just, you know, everybody's having fun. And anytime, you know, you see smiles on guys' faces, it's, you know, the life in the dugout's up. You know, guys that aren't even playing or, you know, they're having fun. And, I mean, just going out there and just getting a bunch of hits, it's it's been good for everyone. And, you know, I mean, just not – I mean, because guys are hitting balls hard and – Whenever you're not getting the hits, I mean, it kind of, you know, it sucks. So whenever you can actually, you know, hit the ball well and you're, you know, you're getting what the outcomes that you want, I mean, it's good for your confidence and both for, you know, everybody else on the team. Yeah, I'm um, just adding on to what he said. It's it's a great sign when you have guys like Jake Wise at the bottom of the order that are squaring the ball up, you know, getting multi-hit games down at the bottom of the order. And then it just... You know, it seems like uh, there's not really a top and a bottom to our lineup when uh, when those guys are seeing the ball and putting the ball in play. And you know, like you said, everyone everyone on the team seems to be getting on base. So you know, that's a good sign for us that uh, you know, hopefully our offense is starting to click a little bit. We're starting to uh, you know, kind of to mesh together and kind of realize our, our identity, and we know that we can score runs. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a good sign when you have guys top to bottom that are are seeing the ball well and uh, getting on base and driving guys in with two outs. That's you know that's that's going to be huge for us.